And NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has arrived in Kyiv for his first visit to Ukraine since Russia's full-scale invasion in a show of support for Ukraine as he prepares a counteroffensive. Mr Stoltenberg paid his respects to fallen Ukrainian soldiers and reviewed the damaged Russian military equipment on display in Kyiv's central St Michael's Square. The Secretary General has been instrumental in NATO's support for Ukraine, which sees its future as part of the military alliance, and announced a bid for fast-track membership in September. And we can join our correspondent, uh, Matthias Bunga, in uh, Kyiv. Uh, welcome, Matthias. Um, a surprise visit then, like so many others by pol uh, politicians who want to show their support. Uh, what do we know about it so far? Yeah, um, the, uh, the visit seems to have been kept quite secret. Uh, uh, this morning, photos of him visiting a site uh, where uh, soldiers fallen in the war are commemorated have appeared on social media and on the media. Um, usually these kind of visits are not announced, but often we hear rumours before this was not the case, so this is obviously a high-level security visit. NATO is an important partner for Ukraine. NATO countries provide many of the weapons that uh, Ukraine is receiving from the West right now. And um, it's uh, quite important. The support is quite important in this war. Moreover, Ukraine wants to become a member of NATO. It has filed uh, uh, um, uh, it has filed for membership, and uh, 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 that's why Stoltenberg, who is here for the first time since the beginning of the war, is of course a very important interlocutor to Ukraine. Okay, thanks for that, uh, Matthias uh, Bullinger in Kiev.